The presidential candidates agree to square off in a debate on June 27th with just 173 days to go until Election Day and an already eventful start to the campaign season. It is on and 21 News is your place for politics. Akron University Dean of Arts and Sciences and Communication Professor Dr. Mitchell McKinney is here now to talk about the inner workings of presidential debates and how this one could probably compare. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to be with you, Lindsay. Yes, debates between former President Trump and President Biden were pretty heated during the 2020 election cycle. What would you expect out of the debate this year? Well, I think that we might see somewhat similar uh, style, certainly with uh, President Trump. Uh, what uh, At that time, uh, uh, candidate Trump four years ago, uh, very aggressive. Uh, uh, he, he's actually, these debates have been called for now for several weeks, months, uh, with Trump challenging uh, Joe Biden to debates because he's eager to be on the debate stage with him. You know, forecasting, suggesting that uh, Joe Biden will be uh, unable to to uh, keep up with him, uh, to to debate him. Uh, and so we I think we what we might see is very similar. Uh, what was a, an aggressive, some said chaotic debate uh, four years ago. Now, how have debates played out for presidents like Biden, who face economic concerns, high inflation among voters and Trump, who is in an unprecedented situation? He's on trial right now. How could this maybe pan out for the two of them? Well, like so much that we've seen the last two election cycles of, of unpredictable uh, uh, events, uh, th this too uh, is quite unusual in terms of presidential debates. One, uh, this will be the earliest uh, that we have seen, uh, if the debate takes place uh, in June, uh, the earliest we've ever seen our presidential candidates debate. It is typically after the conventions, when we get to September, leading up to the November election, that that's when candidates will meet in debate. Um, uh, the dynamics here, uh, uh, with again, with uh, Donald Trump challenging uh, very aggressively taking it to Joe Biden and even suggesting that Joe Biden is afraid to debate him. And then what we see is an incumbent president uh, in many polls trailing in the polls. It is usually the case when we have an incumbent president seeking reelection, they are reluctant to debate their challenger. They don't want to give the challenger that time and attention. But I think that uh, Joe Biden's uh, accepting uh, uh, Donald Trump's challenge today signals that the Biden campaign realizes that it is not in a position of, of, of strength at this point, that they also need uh, to demonstrate that Joe Biden uh, can take on Donald Trump. I mean, we don't know what their internal numbers are telling them, but I do have the latest numbers from the Real Clear Politics Average, which shows all of the latest polls within April and May. Uh, the latest numbers show that this race is essentially in a dead heat. Trump is up 1.1 points. Trump, on average, garnering 46% of the vote in the polls. Biden has 44.9% support. But not all the polls are created equal. You know, Trump is up two by NBC's standard. Quinnipiac, often referred to as the standard, has them in a virtual tie. So wondering, because you study these debates, do you think that the debate could sway the voters? Would it sway a number of points or just a small margin, in your opinion? Well, typically, Lindsay, what we see in terms of the effects of debate, uh, one, the greatest effect is it, it rallies the faithful. It, it really does mobilize uh, much, much like a, 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 you know, a sports event where teams uh, are cheering on their chosen team. Uh, that's that's the major effect of debate is to really mobilize and rally those who are already supporting a particular candidate. However, we do see that debates have the ability to uh, 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 to affect uh, that small slice of undecided. And, and generally, our studies have shown that uh, a presidential debate may affect or change the mind or able to help make a, a voting decision for anywhere from one, two, three percent of the viewers. Dr. McKinney from the University of Akron, like you said, this could be a close one and it looks like the numbers are still shaping up that way, but we still have some time to get to it and some time for people to tune in. June 27th is going to be a showdown. Thank you for joining us here at 5. Thank you, Lindsay.